So what lake is this? Lake Harriet. This is a Minnesota day. This is why people live here. Because this used to be frozen. And you could walk across it. And now we got people running around it, fishing. You don't want to be in it? Okay. There's all these. I mean, right. There's a guy suntanning right there. Mm -hmm. Some band shells. Concession stand. Some guy over there is fishing. Kyle's sitting. Look at all the trees, too. Yeah, it's so green. This is like in Minneapolis city limits. <laughs> yep. And you see all of these trees. Catching anything? Yeah, going for muskies. <laughs> Pretty early in the season to yeah. try and catch one, but uh, I'm trying. Yeah. Caught one right here during the winter, so. There's a place to bring your boat and drop it in and go if you want. Ask for a better day, really. Just yesterday we had tornadoes dropping down. In how far? Minneapolis. How far away? In North Minneapolis. It's probably like five miles, six miles. Yeah. And St. Louis Park, which is only like three miles, four miles. It's crazy to think that we're this close to like a populated area. This is open to the public, but there's really not that many people here. It's also still the work day, but yeah. Oh, right, right. During the summer, it'll be crazier. During the weekends, it's crazy busy. Is that a little beach over there? Yep. But people don't swim as much in the car lot Oh, all right. Little paddle it's boats. Um, like Calhoun, where that people go to, too. Oh, okay. You can run stuff there, too? Probably because it's a little closer to the city. Not sure exactly why. It's so cool watching everybody with their dog. Flowers are. The red tulips. Blowing up now. And all the trees have leaves in them. And there's also nearby, there's a See a lot of flowers. Small little area. So is this about as big as the lake is, or? Yep, I think this is as big as the lake. Okay. So it's smaller than Lake Calhoun, but not that much. Look at the houses too. Some of them are huge. If I fall in, you save my bag first. Yep, yep. Because I can swim, <clears throat> but my cell phone can't. to put some worms on the on that hook. Maybe not. Maybe that's just a waste of money. Oh no, I always usually put worms on the hook. Yep. Yeah. Go snorkeling? Yeah, let's go. Think you could see far? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs>
what they want you to think. <laughs> Although we just got voted by USA Today as the most active city in the US. Really now? Mm -hmm. You'd think for being as cold as we are, it wouldn't be that active. No, because during the winter everybody feels bad so they <laughs> work out. Mm. <laughs> and then during the summer, people are so happy to be outside mm. that they're just like try to go outside all the time. That's an interesting theory. Is it a theory or is it proven? It's a theory. Okay. Maybe it's like makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Usually they come up with things that make sense, my theories. Look at another doggy. Yeah, all well, the FTV walked by them. Really. They spoke a different language. I think it was like a, maybe it was Martinique. <laughs> like a weird Creole French Spanish mixture. Hey, and there's another dog right there. Oh, so cute. That guy over there with the little umbrella, mm. we walked by us him, and he was playing the Rocky theme. Whoa, that dog looks like a coyote from here, doesn't it? No, sure does. It really does. Let's go a little closer. Okay. I want to see if it's a coyote. It totally looks like a coyote. Oh, I would, it's too cold to wash my feet in my hands. Turning it off. Okay, turn it off. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a like German Shepherd mix, maybe. Maybe with a 